Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play number two from Cherney's book, Practical Method for Beginners. In this exercise, we will start with our right hand on this upper G. So in relation to middle C, middle C is here, and there is a G after it. Middle C, G, G one octave higher. That's where your thumb is gonna go. Your fourth finger is gonna play this upper C. Your third finger is gonna have a B, and second finger is gonna be on A. It's gonna go G, C, B, A. Now we're going to have three G's, but we're going to change our fingers on these G's. So the first G is played with your thumb, which is already on G. We're going to switch to our second finger and back to our thumb. Now over to the letter B with third finger, which should already be on it. Switch that to a two and third finger will be over C. Go down to G and switch that to a two. Let me play the notes that we've learned so far. G, C, B, A, G, 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 B, B, C, G, G. Now for that first half, let's start to learn the left hand. The left hand fifth finger is going to be positioned right over middle C. The first note, however, is the letter E with your third finger. Going down to C with your fifth finger, then F with your second finger, back to C, E, C, E, C, D, G, F, D, E, G, E, G. Now let's play this first line, hands together. And now we're into the second line. This line starts the same way. Start at G, going up to C, B, A, G, change G to two, and back to one. This time when you play B, play B with your fourth finger. We're gonna have four Bs in a row. So we're gonna play with them with fingers four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, then C, with three, then two, and then one. One of the points that the composer is making in this particular exercise is that when you have repeated notes, often in classical music, you're gonna be using different fingers. So this is a preparatory exercise for getting used to switching fingers when you have the same note. Here is the second line. G, C, B, A, G, G, G. We have four Bs on four, three, two, one. And three Cs on three, two, one. The left hand in the second line starts off the same way as it did in the first line. We have E, C, F, C, 
And here's the second line, hands together. Now the second half starts with your second finger up on the letter B so that your third finger is on the letter C up here. We have B, C, D, B, 3 is C, down to G, which is 1, but in the music here, after we play it with 1, it says 2, 1 on the next note, which means to strike it with 2, but while holding it, change it back to 1. Bring 2 over to B, C, D, B, C, G, and change G to 2. Here's the left hand that goes with that third line. We start with a whole note, G, with our thumb. The next measure is G with our second finger. Back down to C with our fifth finger. Over to G, then E, C, G, G with our second finger, G with our thumb again, back to C, E, G, and F. And here is hands together. Now the last eight bars. Starting with G on your thumb, it's actually going to be much like the first and second line. So G, C, B, A, G with one, G with two, G with one. Over to B with three, B with two, C with three, then two, and then one. Left hand. C, F, C, E, C, E, C, D, G, F, D, C, E, C. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it added value to your and it added valid I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and it added some value to your piano practice. If so, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell icon so that way you're notified when I have another video ready for you. And also, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well. Thank you so much for Thank you so much for joining me for Thank you so much for joining me for this. Thank you for Thank you for joining me in this tutorial on Cherney's number 2. Uh, I hope this added value to your piano practice. If so, definitely give me a like on this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that way you're notified whenever I have a new video ready for you.